He's going to be a bully again. Oh, what are you? Oh, well spotted VM. An African Harrier Hawk having a drink. I wonder the lapwings are so upset. They've got a baby around here. He's probably hiding because. Oh no, what's it got? Has it got the baby lapwing? There's something hiding in that crack that the Harrier Hawk is trying to get out. Oh, I don't think it's the baby lapwing, or it could be, but generally the adult lapwings would be attacking it. There could be a little lizard. There's something in there. Could be a snake. Quite a lot of predatory birds are very fond of eating snakes. And one reason I think it might be a snake is because of the way it's stepping. You, you can see those yellow legs, heavily scaled, and would probably protect it from a bite. Of course, there could be a frog in the mud there. And you can see there's a bit of mud on the African Harrier Hawk's legs. Also sometimes known as a gymnogene. You can see how windy it is, blowing the feathers about. There we go, you see there's a bit of red in the face, and that's uh, common during this time of year. It's their breeding plumage. That when they are in breeding season, they go red in the face. Just embarrassed with that whole love thing, you know. Come on, catch it. something in there. Well, I almost think snake just from behavior. Certain bird species will eat clay and whatnot, but I don't think that's what's happening here. Just watch when it decides to put those incredibly vicious hooked talons into that crevice. It's definitely trying to stamp on something. That's digging out, so it could be something that's disappearing in between the different cracks. So it could be reptilian, and I, I know everyone's hoping it's not the baby lapwing. Me too. I came here to show you the baby. But even if it is the baby lapwing, that is life out in the African bush. Oh, it's calling. Just 
mesmerized at the moment. It's not giving up. Whatever it is, it, this Harrier Hawk's not giving up easily. I don't want to move the vehicle and disturb it. The visual's very bad, one out of five. And what it, I can't see if it caught, it's caught something. It looks like a terrapin, actually, maybe a baby terrapin. Let's just have a look at my binoculars. Oh, I think it might be the baby lapwing. Just wait, wait, stay down there. Um, oh, it got away. Did it get away? I don't know. It got away. Did it? No, it still got it. I can't really see. Oh, I think it is the baby lapwing. Oh dear. That is quite sad. And just the way that lapwing dive bombed it, sorry. So I get my binoculars out, see if I can. Really see yet, Liam? What do you think? Can't see at all. It's definitely got something there. Uh, could have been a frog, but I don't think so. Well, whatever it is, it's in half now. You can just. Start. Sneak a little bit closer. Sorry about that vibration, but we're just gonna the M's gonna try to keep the camera there and I'm just gonna edge very, very slowly forward. How's that film? Let's just try here first. Look like a frog. It look a bit like a frog. Could be a platana. It was hiding in the mud. Our platana is a species of frog that's got a very potent uh, set of claws on it. Whatever it was, it was a very small meal. Looking for more now. Cleaning its beak. It looks like it might be hunting for more. It could easily be a frog. But when it flies off, I will go try to see what's left. Oh, incoming is going to be dive bombed. Whoa, do you see that? Maybe that little plover is still hiding somewhere. And the closer that Harrier Hawk gets to where it's hiding, the more aggressive the plovers are going to become.
or the lap wings. In watching to see if I can see where the baby is, but that baby with the predatory bird and the adults alarming like that is going to be very well hidden. And were we going to keep sitting here and watch this Harrier Hawk drama play out? Uh, but James has got something with six legs to show you. Good news, there's the baby lapwing safe and sound. Mom and Dad doing a really good job protecting it. They've escorted it away from the water's edge now. And every time the Harrier Hawk seems to look up, one of the adults goes quickly for a dive bomb. Oh, the Harrier Hawk's kicking something again. Oh, it's found something else. So this is the second, only the second time since we first saw it that it started digging again. Oh, moving pieces of clay out of the way. This is just so fascinating. Now, this behavior, not normal behavior, is probably, and it's not probably, it's definitely due to the drought. really want to go see where that was feeding earlier to definitely confirm but I think a frog is most likely probably those platanas oh it's got it it's got it alright let's get a bit closer So I think this Harrier Hawk's got quite used to us being here, so I'm going to go a bit closer. Okay, let's see if we can see what it's eating. It's, de it's a platana. It is a platana. And now those frogs actually have incredibly sharp claws. See, as though it's a really bad time to be a frog with the drought, but it's a really good time to be a predator, whether you be a bird or a lion. Hi, Mia. Mia's in Illinois. And Mia would like to know, would the Harrier Hawks hunt frogs in the water normally? No, they wouldn't, Mia. Um, as I said, this behavior is probably only because of the drought that they're able to hunt these frogs in the cracks. Isn't this just incredible? It just shows, goes to prove you never know what you're going to see when you jump on the back of the vehicle here on Safari Live.
Oh, don't want to waste any. Okay, finished looking for more. Straight back on the hunt. Did you hear a snort, Fiam? Thought I heard a zebra snort. Hi, Monique in London. Monique's saying, well, won't the adult lapwing's behaviour alert the harrier hawk that there's a baby around? Not necessarily. A harrier hawk spends most of its life being mobbed, cleaning its beak, being mobbed by birds, because they do feed a lot off baby birds. So being mobbed by a bird is sort of just part and parcel of daily life for a harrier hawk. And we're going to let this harrier hawk continue on its hunting and we're going to go on a hunt of our own for some other creatures. But hasn't this been the most spectacular little birding hunt? Right, so while we move on in